21 after 7 on Triple M's Hot Breakers for Home Buyer Centre. Escape the rent trap now. Uh, just being serious for a, a moment or two here on the show. The front page of the Herald Sun today. Common Chiro's arrested in guns and drug probe. Bikey ice bust, an exclusive by Anthony Dowsley. Police yesterday swooped on bikey figures who are suspected of being part of an organised crime syndicate that has allegedly hooked the town's youth on the drug ice. The raids across Mildura come as police begin a crackdown on an ice epidemic causing a wave of destruction in regional Victoria. Joining us on the line is the Mayor of Mildura, Glenn Milne. Good morning to you, Glenn. Hi, good morning. Glenn, uh, t- can you give us a bit of an insight into uh, how prevalent the drug ice is and the effect it's having on the youth of Mildura and other country areas? Uh, look, there's, there's a lot of um, work being done in the community to raise awareness of the impacts and um, you know, a lot of concerned parents who've uh, joined together and given information to the various um, health services. And, uh, in fact, there's a, um, a, a collective of um, groups called, uh, under the heading of Project ICE, they're a consortium of um, community health and welfare groups uh, that uh, you know, are working together to try and combat the problem as much as they can, uh, working in conjunction with the police also. Glenn, it's a shocking thing. It's not just in the country. The the local hospitals tell me that uh, of a Saturday night when the people come in who have been suffering from the psychosis associated with ice, they're, 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 they're throwing people around like rag dolls. They're super strong. And uh, once you get into the ice, uh, it, it really, really gets uh, stuck into the into the brain. Now, what are the things that you're seeing in your area that are manifest by this problem? Um, look, I, I, I'm not seeing a lot of it. I, I think... It, it's like a, you know, any other community. You know, it's out there. It's, yeah. I think it, it is everywhere. You, you know, you hear it in Melbourne. But um, given that I, I don't spend a lot of time out in the street at night, so I don't see a lot of it. But I am aware of it. But I, I've also, I'm also aware of, you know, people that have been really badly affected. And, and like you say, that, uh, you know, the psychosis, the, the violence, and all the rest of it that goes on, and um, you hear it all the time. Personally, I don't see it, but I do see it through the courts or hear about it, you know, with people, um, you know, uh, committing crimes to gain money and the money spent on drugs. On Speaking with, uh, with Glenn Milne here, who's the mayor of Mildura, and the front page story is bikey ice bust and uh, referencing Mildura and the, uh, the crackdown on an ice epidemic causing destruction in regional Victoria. Uh, Glenn, not an expert either in it, but the people you speak to who have uh, you know, dealt in drug rehabilitation for 40 years say that this new frontier of ice to, is so, uh, I suppose, uh, dangerous that they've actually tried to get people onto heroin or opiates because at least they know there's a pathway out of, out of ice. And I suppose that's the terrifying thing is that to young people who get addicted Jeez. to this haven't actually got a, a pathway out so of... So you're saying the weaning off process is to get yeah. them onto heroin? Basically. But, yeah. but I remember when that was the the heavyweight drug on the block, yeah. and uh, times were better. I mean, the, the, the biggest risk was someone might steal your VCR, but they would damage themselves. The random acts of violence and the danger, the level of danger on the streets today is disturbing. I was in Hong Kong, and it, I've never felt safer because it doesn't exist there. And you could walk around the street with impunity at, at night, and feel completely safe yep. that you weren't about to be king hit, taken from behind, or randomly attacked by some idiot off his nut. Glenn, uh, just a um, final question to you up there, mate, uh, and you can make the comment you're about to jump in with. Uh, uh, the fact that the bikies have been uh, busted up in Mildura must be disconcerting for you as well. Yeah, look, uh, uh, the police have done a lot of work with the bikies. That's always been a concern because um, where they are is usually the drugs and everything else that goes along with it. So the police have really focused on them. And um, as as for the ice, I think you know, it's a problem for every community and you, yeah. you do see the damage and it's actually the brain damage, the thinking processes. Mm. That, uh, and like you say, the, the addictions that are really, really hard um, to shake and, uh, you know, it is getting worse and it's just a terrible thing. You know, the other side of it is the fact that kids are drawn into it and, um, you know, there's a whole lot of reasons for that behind it, why kids turn to drugs rather than... Um, you know, yeah, the everyday yeah. life that everybody else lives, and that's something that we really have to address as a community is the reason why they do it in the first place, because Absolutely, that's a whole other social issue. It is, and particularly in the rural areas yeah. where it's uh, been epidemic in recent times. So just before we let you go, because uh, I was lucky enough to be in Mildura not that long ago, uh, Glenn, it is a piece of paradise up there. Uh, it is oh, just a it's sensational. sensational. So you go up to... Uh, yep. the, uh, 
Mr. Stefano's up there, the Beautiful. restaurant. The, the Murray is magnificent. You've got all those. The best grass court tennis complex yep. anywhere in the world. Pretty as a picture. A, rich, a Richmond stronghold, I should point used, out. Used to be so in the old yep. days. No, no, Chris Tarrant, of course, a Mildura boy. That's but that. you're thinking of <laughs> Dale Waitman and, uh, and, and Mark, Mark Lee, Lee, the general, and amongst others. others. A beautiful old club there. It is. It's historic. It, it's a it's a, it's it's a classic sensation. example of rural Australia. And the weather's magnificent. It makes us so special. Glenn, what's it? Keep it going, guys. We love this. This is good for the community. Yeah. Well, we don't want to just, you know, bang on. It's it's a problem that's happening everywhere. We're not just lump it on you. But Mildura's a sensational. And you can fly in and out pretty easily these days, Glenn, can't you? Oh, absolutely. Look, you've got Virgin, you've got Qantas Link, you've got Rex, and, and that, oh, well, Virgin do one flight a day, but the others do three or four in and out, so it is really easy yeah. to access. And you can get pretty cheap airfares too, and it beats the five-hour drive. I can do a six-hour drive. It certainly <laughs> does. Glenn, good on you, mate. Good luck with everything you're good doing you, up mate. there. The Mayor of Mildura coming on the line Thank to talk much, about guys. a social problem, uh, uh, not uh, just a... Uh, uh, confined to Mildura by any stretch of the imagination. We'll go to the 7.30 news. We might come back and take some calls. Uh, this ice thing, as you said, Darcy, you know, it's it's one of those things that everybody's now starting to find people in their extended yeah, circle absolutely. who are falling victim to uh, this uh, plague that is ice and just what it's doing to yep. so many young people. So we'll take a break. We'll come back and have a bit of a chat about it. Uh, get on the line if you want to just uh, uh, ring through and tell us your story of, of where you're finding ice in the community. Uh, if you're a, a nurse or a doctor or a social worker, if you've got kids at school, is it something that's becoming more prevalent? One triple three five three. We want to hear from you. No names, no pack drill. If you've done it, get on and tell us what it's like. We want to hear just what's Really going on with ice in the community firsthand. One triple three five three. No names, no pack drill. Get on the line here on Triple M's Hot Breakfast. We'll go to the seven thirty news and come back with your calls right after this. Thanks to the Home Buyer Centre. Escape the rent trap now. Twenty one after seven on Triple M's Hot Breakfast for Home Buyer Centre. Escape.